Boris FX, Sapphire, and Continuum. I knew nothing about Boris FX before I started research for this video, and I must say I am impressed. As you already know, assuming you watched the previous however many hours, many of Boris FX's transitions are better than the equivalent ones from all other true transition vendors. And a lot of their transitions are also available as an effect variant, which is really cool. There are actually tons of effects, but I didn't even try to look through them because this video is only about transitions, and it's already long enough. Boris FX also has a lot of unique transitions, split across two different packs, Sapphire and Continuum. I see these transitions as being intended and much more useful for larger companies. Studios, network television stuff, that's the vibe I'm getting. They don't seem to be marketing themselves for the prosumer YouTube space, especially with these prices. As of late 2024, Continuum is $24.58 per month for a year, and Sapphire is $41.25 per month for a year or it's $37 and $62 month to month. Alternatively, you can buy both of them outright, no subscription, but it'll cost you $1,000 for Continuum and $1,700 for Sapphire. And that is worth doing if you think you'll be using these transitions for more than three and a half years. I actually don't have a lot to say about these transitions because there are so many of them and so many which are good. It would take years of use for me to properly familiarize myself with all these transitions and figure out all the cool stuff you can surely do with them, whether intended by the developers or not. I don't have years to spend, but I can tell you, just with the small experiments I've done for the sake of this tutorial, that Boris FX transitions are excellent. Unfortunately, all the good stuff is split across these two different packs, and I don't really understand why. Upon reflection, I feel like these packs were originally made by two different companies. That's just how different they are from one another. Am I wrong? Let me know. If I had to choose one, I'd go with Continuum. It seems to have more of the things I like. It's also the less expensive one. I just wish it had a better dissolve. I still think Film Impact's Big Bang is a better value, as you'll see in the next chapter, but if you want to buy Continuum or Sapphire, please do so using my affiliate link below. I'm not gonna stop you. Update, I just learned that all my Boris FX affiliate links give you 15% off, which is fantastic. I don't know all the details, like if there's a time limit on this. Regardless, just use my affiliate links below if you wanna buy something. And I'm giving both packs an A- minus on the tier list. If you want to learn how to use Boris FX transitions, and indeed any transition, watch the rest of the tutorial. It's quite long, it's worth it, and it's linked below. Now, stay tuned for the Film Impact review, which will be different because there's a special announcement coming September 9.